very large, so I immediately apologize for that if you think it's too short. Alright. So, we start off our tale with what a mere peasant. A mere peasant just struggling to get through life with his family, begging off of the streets for any mere scrap of food, or even a single copper penny or whatever current lady they had back then, I don't know. And he's just sitting there saying, Oh, how I wish I had more money, more food, so that I could give my family a better life. Maybe even raise my own kingdom, become a new king, become the king of my own kingdom and just raise the heck out of that. <laughs> oh, he's just sitting there dreaming his dreams and here comes the arrogant king riding by on his ever so magnificent horse. <laughs> Clop, clipping, clopping right up past the filthy peasant. Where has the king looks at the mere thing? And the peasant looks out at him with ever so hopeful eyes, just pleading for anything, anything whatsoever. The king spits right on his face. And he flops off. But he does not notice one thing that has fallen from his purse. But as the peasant seems to have noticed this, a single golden ball, about yay big, is perfectly fine, engraved with jewels, beautiful philosophy, beautiful, more beautiful than the sun, or radiance even. And he's, and he sees this beautiful, magnificent ball, and he says, oh, and he says, this magnificent orb, I could Buy my own kingdom, save my family, and do anything I've wanted to do before and more. And he does just that. And as he's clopping through his ever so magnificent kingdom, everyone happy, every, everyone happy, everything's happy, 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 happy. <laughs> Except for this one. Who seems to be rather familiar. And the peasant turned king looks at this new peasant and he notices. Good lord, that's the old king! So he reaches into his purse, pulls out a copy of the original wall, looks at the king and says, Thanks for the ball, sucker, and claws on off. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.